Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. And I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to uh, insert a table of figures or a table of tables um, in a long document. Uh, I have a sample document here in front of me and I'll just show it to you now. It's got a table of contents and I've covered how to do that in previous videos. So it's quite a long document here. It's just a sample document that I downloaded off the internet. And at the moment I have two different um, figures that I want to actually create a, a table of figures. Of. And now often people have already typed in the titles of these. I'm going to start um, from that starting point. So this is my first figure here that I want to um, put in a caption for. So I'm going to select this title that I've already um, uh, typed in. And what I'm going to start off by doing is on the home tab, I'm going to cut it. OK, um, so I now have that title uh, in on my clipboard uh, I then go to references uh, and I click on insert caption. OK, these go in as captions, so click on Insert Caption. Now, uh, I want in here to make sure that Figure is selected. Uh, the main ones I use are Figure or Table. This time here, we're going to uh, select Figure. And uh, the title of the uh, thing here, I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, which is Control and V, which is Paste. Or I think you can white mouse click and paste either. So if we click on OK there, it now goes in as figure one, national average spend. OK, if I want to refer to that in the document, I can say, um, as discussed um, and shown in and I want to make sure it picks up this one here even if that number changes I want it to automatically pick this up so I don't want to type in figure one I want it to pick up whatever number this uh, is in here so I click on cross reference um, what am I looking for in here yours might automatically start off as numbered item make sure that in here you choose figure um, and so figure one, if you've got a number of figures, they'll be listed here and you'll choose it. I'm going to say figure one is what I'm referring to. Do I want the whole thing, including the text national average spend? No, I just want um, the label and number only. OK, and I click on insert and close. So it now says as discussed and shown in figure one. And then you can put in the rest of the text that you're going to put in there. Now, that will automatically update. If I typed it in, it wouldn't automatically update. Because I've used this cross-reference, it'll automatically update as I add in other figures later on. So up above that now, I'm going to put in another heading in here. So I've got a map in here, and I've already typed the title. So I'm going to select that. Um, I'm on my keyboard just going to do Control and X for cut, or else you could go to the Home tab and cut. I tend to use the keyboard shortcuts, so it's Control and X to cut it. Uh, and I go to References, I go to uh, Insert Caption. OK, it is a figure, it stayed at figure, so that's fine. I'm going to put in a space and I'll paste it in, so it's a map of Ireland. Now you'll notice it now is figure one, that's OK. So it's saying figure one, map of Ireland. Now, um, if you're working in a long document, you don't want to slow down your whole machine by having these things automatically update. But every few, few minutes or so, Word will automatically update it. And you can see here, this has automatically gone to figure, um, uh, figure 2. Uh, if you right mouse click or if you go to print, it'll automatically uh, update. Uh, you don't have to really worry about it. It'll automatically update before you go to print. If you click on update field, it'll automatically update now to figure two. So you go down through your whole document, um, autom putting on these captions. And then when you want to put in your table of contents or table of figures, you go to the position that you want to put it in. Let's just check that that's sensible, yeah. And in here on the references tab, all you do is click on insert table of figures. Uh, that's the one I'm going to choose in here. That's grand. Um, it's a tab leader. Uh, this is how it's going to look like. And you click on OK. And so here, and I'll just decrease my zoom so you can see it a bit better. Here it is put in the actual uh, page numbers that those figures were on. And as the page numbers change, these automatically change for you. And you can type in a heading uh, if you want to. OK, that's the end of this video.